seems this cage will hold me. Unless... Yes. I compute that my enemies have not foreseen one possible outcome of their efforts. I asked around about this thing. Best description I was given was the big computery ball thing that lets you select levels. This is my least favorite place in the galaxy. We don't like you either. Lego Batman 3 walkthrough part. Oh man, I don't even know. I got so messed up with my timing in this walkthrough, so I'm just gonna leave it to the title because that way I'll know for sure. So look in the title for the part of this walkthrough that it is. And this is the awkward situation level. So it's a pretty fun one. You get to run into Sinestro, and at first you get to do a sort of a space battle, but not really a space battle because you're not in space. And you have to fight this green lantern, or I guess maybe it's yellow because of Sinestro. Uh, you have to fight this train, and you just have to take out four of its hearts. And that's it for this part of the level, really. It's just uh, go around, destroy some enemies, destroy things. You can get a mini kit if you destroy enough of those boulders. And once you get some missiles, look for the train and try to get next to it until it'll let you target it. And it does kind of go pretty quickly. It'll take you a little bit longer to catch up to it if you try to follow it. If you go the opposite direction that it's going, you should be able to hit it faster. And it will do some good damage to you if you just run straight into it. So try to avoid that, but you have unlimited lives, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And other than that, this part is just kind of mundane. It's really just hit the train and then hit the train and then hit the train some more. And here I am trying to find the last train so I can just do it the final time. Invisible jet doesn't really protect your modesty. Wonder Woman, Grundy, help Lantern. <laughs> They're not real, Robin. They're still scary! <laughs> Reading your mind, it knows what scares you. How pitiful. This green menace has simply become a giant puppet. Don't worry about me, guys. Save yourselves. Put him down, Sinestro. Quickly! After him before it's too late! And it kind of seems that Green Lantern's fear is being a puppet. Or maybe that's not his fear at all and it's just Sinestro grabbing him? I don't know. Anyway, uh, something I kind of want to talk about before I go on to the actual level is that my friend told me that they released a Wonder Woman Invisible Jet Lego set and I got all excited and I go on and I go to Google and I look for it and it doesn't actually exist. The joke he was trying to make was that it was invisible. Well, I had thought that they had taken clear Lego pieces like they did in this game. I thought they had just made one out of clear Lego pieces and I thought that would have been pretty cool. That would have been really tough to build, probably, because they're all clear. But it would have been really cool anyway, and no, I fell for it and I was sad. 
So hopefully maybe one day they'll actually do that, that'd be kind of fun. So anyway, you get to play as real Batman, and also real Robin and real Wonder Woman. You've stopped faking as other people. And of course, a Grundy, who is always just Grundy. So for this first part, use the power suit to knock down that drill, I guess that's what it is. Yep, that drill, and then you'll want to build these handlebars for Grundy to catch or to latch onto or to grab, so that way you can uh, open up this boulder stop that is keeping you from moving on. Now this level where you deal with Sinestro, it's kind of fun, I did like it, but it doesn't really have a boss fight, and I kind of thought that they could have had a Sinestro boss fight at the end of this, and I don't know, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but uh, this is also probably one of the hardest levels in this game because of this part right here. And I don't know if there's some magic thing that I missed, but this takes me forever to do. And normally I would cut over this, but I just wanted to show it because I was really annoyed. My dog is scratching in the background, I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, that, that if you can, then you know what the noise is. If you can't, then ignore it. So anyway. These platforms will move up and down in a kind of timed fashion, and at the same time, these big metal blocks will fall down and crush you. So you need to time this differently than I'm timing it now, because if you do it this way, which seems like the right way, then every time you get up to the third one, you're just gonna die. And what I would try to do is actually jump on the second one early, that way you can get on the third one, then up there on the right side. And even if you try to jump kind of in between the two, you're gonna fall down to the left one, and if you hit the bottom of that, you're just gonna die. And for once, dying here is actually bad, and I almost made it there, but fell off because I got pushed off. Anyway, for once, dying here is actually bad, because unlimited lives don't change how really annoying this is. So I decided, okay, that's not working, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna jump on here, and then I'm gonna jump up here, and it's really hard to jump on top of these, I mean, it's a lot harder than it really looks. You have to kind of get used to it because you kind of get pushed off from the edge if you just try to go straight up. And you would think you could just go straight up, but no, Lego says. And then you should be able to get up here. So now you're going to want to shut that off because you really don't want to deal with that again. Switch to the sensor suit and turn invisible by pushing and holding B, not tapping B. And then you can come up here and you'll be able to go into the control room on the left side and knock these people away. And then you can suck up the electricity. And that'll shut down the big metal blocks and everybody else will be free to pass. So that's the hardest part of the whole game. I mean, that's kind of weird, like, oh, there's got to be something harder. But no, I would say that is the hardest part in the whole game. Of course, that does kind of show there's not really a whole lot of hard parts in this game because it's a Lego game. What do you expect? So now we do get a tiny bit of a boss fight, but not really, and it's just this guy pretty much beaming you with lasers, and you'll want to have his laser destroy that golden object. If it doesn't, you can always use Batman's spacesuit. Then switch to Wonder Woman and use her bracelet to hit this guy, and it's kind of weird where you want to hit him. I think you just aim for the head, but uh, nothing immediate really shows up, so just... Just beam it on him, and then you'll, you should automatically switch to Grundy after he comes down to the ground, and then Grundy will just destroy this guy. I mean, there's not even a fight. If only all comic book fights were like this toward the bad guys, and there wouldn't be any villains left, but then there wouldn't be a comic book either. So, Grundy just shoves him into the center of the ground and dries up the swamp. That's pretty brutal. And then switch to Batman and you should be able to free open this spot with the sensor vision and then you can use Grundy to slam it down through the floor here. So where did that big guy go? Nobody knows. I don't know where Grundy's swamp enough, goes to or where it came from, but I, I don't want to go there. You know nothing of fear, Batman. Nothing. Sounds like they're not and now a Green Lantern will finally wake up and you'll just have to fight Sinestro off and Sinestro will of course be confused. But now you get to fly around as Green Lantern again and he's probably one of the more fun ones to play as in story mode just because he's the most consistent one that can fly. The other one is Superman but you don't play as Superman nearly as often as a Green Lantern. 
So anyway, there's a couple of things you want to destroy and get rid of, and get rid of these glowing objects. Uh, there will be some of these lantern enemies that come down onto you, but you can fight them or ignore them, and then build this green lantern spot, and I think this makes a bridge for the rest of the people. Okay, no, that makes a crank. That is definitely not a bridge, so the green hand will crank and that'll start moving this bridge, which is kind of mean because it reminds me of Mustafar, and Mustafar usually means death. Uh, and other than that, why would you make a conveyor belt move that just takes us to fire? But at least Green Lantern can fly, and uh, everybody else can't, so they have to kind of do the annoying conveyor belt level puzzle. And the only really annoying thing is trying to jump over those boxes. Other than that, it's no big deal. <laughs> of course, you have to realize, when I say annoying in this game, I either mean one of two things. Number one, it's annoying because it's a glitch. Number two, it's annoying because that's the most annoying thing in the game, which isn't saying a lot. So, uh, compared to, say, Donkey Kong Country Returns, this game couldn't be easier. But compared to, say, no, even Bubsy is pretty stupid. But, uh, what other easy game is there? I don't know, Hello Kitty's World or uh, Neopets Online? I mean, compared to those, it's pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, switch to Batman and come up here, jump on that platform, then suck up the electricity, and the elevator will be lowered for the rest of you. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need Grundy here. Uh, you, you always need Grundy, you always need a big guy. But we're nearing the end of the level, and this... You know, I expected a boss fight here, but this is the whole boss fight with Sinestro, really. So, you're gonna need to break open this pump here, and to do that you will obviously need Grundy, so switch to him. And if it'll let you, try to break open the pump, sometimes it takes a few tries, and then you can throw it just wherever the heck you want, really. And then you'll be able to rise up here and, uh... There's not really anything up there, but you can do it if you want to, but more importantly, you can build the platform that's jumping on the ground. Over here on the right side, there's a few things you can destroy if you feel like it, but otherwise, just come to the left side and build that thing. I don't know why Sinestro has a giant castle there. It's kind of in the middle of nothing, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like this whole thing with him at the end of this level doesn't make any sense. It just makes no sense at all. Anyway, once you build this, then you should use the Green Lantern to... I think this will help break open the castle, and then once you do that, you'll be able to fight Sinestro with a couple of quick time tap X rapidly events, and that'll be it for this level. It is, but I've buried my emotions for so long I can't find anything I'm scared of. You need to be scared. You need your emotions, Batman. <laughs> Robin is going to get hurt. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. They have my power batteries! One of them's mine. We will just have to go get them. <laughs> 